Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chess Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we talk about hemopsis or also known as coughing up blood. It is quite frightening for parents to see that their child brings out blood in the cough or in the sputum. Sometimes this might be a very small amount, but occasionally children can bring it out. <clears throat> now usually the amount of blood is quite small, but occasionally it can be huge and it can be a real problem and lead to emergency. Now, what are the common causes of hemopsis in children? The causes of hemopsis in children could be many. The most common are things like pneumonia and tuberculosis. The other causes of hemopsis in children could be bleeding from the small blood vessels of the lungs and this condition is known as a pulmonary hemocytosis. Children with bronchiectasis or suppurative lung disease can also bring up blood. These conditions could be like cystic fibrosis or the other causes of bronchiectasis. Some children might be having a small foreign body in their airways and that leads to hemopsis. Some children have small tumor inside the airway which could be in the form of a hemangioma or a hematoma or a carcinoid which leads to bleeding in the airway leading to hemopsis. What are the investigations which are required in children who present to us with hemopsis? Well, after a detailed case study, a few investigations might be required. The first investigation which is done is a chest x-ray. It helps us to look at the lungs carefully. Now, in children with hemopsis, further investigations are required in many situations. Now, these investigations could be in the form of a CT scan of the chest which looks at the lungs in, in significant more detail compared to an x-ray of the chest. Some children will require an airway examination from inside which is known as a bronchoscopy. In a flexible bronchoscopy, a very thin instrument known as a bronchoscope is gradually introduced from the nose of the child. And we, we examine the nose, the throat, the voice box, the windpipe of the child and the small airways in detail. Now this investigation usually gives us a good answer regarding what is the cause of hemopsis and helps us to decide treatment. In some situations, a CT angiography might be required to look at bleeding from the blood vessels. If your child is having blood in the sputum or hemopsis, do urgently get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist for detailed evaluation and treatment.